Thank you for clicking Alpha Geek. I'm Jesse, and today we're going to build a free do it yourself cloud gaming system. I love PC gaming. I do, trust me, I really love PC gaming. But sometimes sitting at a desk and being shackled to that mouse and keyboard is just exhausting. Sometimes I just want to game comfortably, like a console gamer gets to do. They can sit there and lay on the couch and game comfortably. And I know this is going to spark some debate. I know that there's going to be the PC you know, gaming party over here and the console gaming party over here, and they're going to have some sort of war and debate about it. But I'm going to go ahead and set the record straight for everyone. Okay? I'm going to end it. If you are a PC gamer, you are by far. And I'll argue this with anyone. I'll argue this with anyone till I'm blue in the face because I know I'm right. You are by far the most expensive type of gamer there is. I mean, yes, you're the most expensive type of gamer, but there's that whole saying of you get what you pay for, right? And what I paid for is an excellent way to game. I mean, this monitor here costs more than my TV in the living room did. And that's because I'll get better games on this monitor than I will on that TV, even though that one has 120 uh, hertz. This one has 120 hertz, but it has better response rate, has better color. I mean, it is ultimate. It has you know, G-Sync in here, so that way I get the best video I can possibly get when playing games. And not only that, I have a great card inside here. I have an RTX 280 Super, which does ray tracing. And I'd love someone to put in the comment section which console games you have right now that actually do ray tracing, because as of 2020 right now, you don't have any. Now that's not to rag on console games. I, I, know, I know they sometimes get a bad perception, but I know that they sell a lot more games, right? Also, it's very comfortable to be a console gamer, right? You can take one of these, which these are inferior to a mouse and keyboard, but the hella comfortable, right? You can just sit here, game on your couch. When you die, you can pass a controller over to someone else and say, here, you play. And you can't do that with a PC. Wait, wait, or can you? camera and show them how you're holding it. Let's actually get started with this project now. The first thing that you're going to actually need is a PC, go figure. And it's going to need to have a NVIDIA GTX 600 or higher card. Anything lower than that, it's not going to work. But if you have a GTX 600 card or higher, you're in luck. You're going to be able to do this. After that, everything else is pretty much optional, but we'll talk about them. The first optional thing that you're gonna need is a controller, right? Uh, I like the PS4, but whatever controller you want, use it. As long as it works with the TV or the system that you're using, good on you. After that, if you have a smart TV, check the app store and see if they have a thing called Moonlight. If they have Moonlight, you're in luck. You don't have to have anything else and you can game remotely. Uh, I prefer this last way. I think it's the best, but having a Raspberry Pi and installing a Moonlight basically system on there is the best, I think, because this is going to allow you to go anywhere. And as long as you have Wi-Fi and you have a TV and this, you can game. Setting up Moonlight, like I said, is extremely easy. Once you've downloaded Moonlight, you launch the little program. It'll pop up here and it'll say add host. Before we do that, there's one thing you have to do on your actually host, and that is to go to NVIDIA Game Stream, I'm sorry, NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And when you click that up, there's gonna be a little cog right here for settings. Click on that, and then go down to Shield, and turn Game Streaming on. Now that Game Streaming's on, you need to know your host IP, which you can open up command prompt or PowerShell or whatever you want and type I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G and get the IP address and type it into the client here. And I already know my IP address, so I'm gonna go ahead and type it, which is 10.10.10.85 .10 .10 and bam, 
there's my computer. Now, it has it added here, but until I click on it, it's not authenticated. So I, I'm gonna have to click on this once and it's gonna give me a pin, which is 4719. And if I look over here, yep, it has it 4719. And then now you'll see my games pop up when I push enter. There we go. Now we're connected. I talked a lot of smack about someone being very comfortable gaming on the couch. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I've already got my um, uh, PS4 controller set up to our Apple TV and let's just see how well it does. Uh, but before we do, just let me ask you if you learned anything or like this video at all, please smash that thumbs up button and subscribe and hit that bell. It's a brand new channel and it really does help me out a lot. I really appreciate everyone who does. Uh, thank you so much. Now let's turn it on. I'm gonna go to continue for right now, which is at the beginning, so. Uh, loading times is another thing that I hate. I'm right behind you. Yeah, I mean, it's responsive right now. We'll see if we get some lag or anything in between this and uh, the end of this. Well, I can see being a little jumpy. Sorry, Cal. Don't worry about it. But no, it's 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 doing really really well. Okay, I think this is the one part where I believe it'll start lagging just a little bit. Let's see if it does. I have to slide down here and right after I slide down it should skip a couple of frames. This is still responsive, still doing well, but when I land right here I believe I'll make a liar out of me. Uh, okay, never mind. It was pretty smooth, so. Ah, That's what happens when you don't look at the screen. Some of the areas are a little dark. I don't know if it's the contrast of the TV or or if it's anything about the game, but I think it's actually the <clears throat> contrast on the TV. So far, so good. Nothing to complain about yet. A free way of remote gaming. Can't beat it. Now I think I played this long enough to show that it's working really well and just as good as a console game plugged up to the TV. I'm done here. Now let's go upstairs or somewhere else and figure out if it still streams as good there. Okay, so my eldest daughter is uh, having a, a doctor's appointment at the hospital and I can't go in and neither can my son, but keeping him busy is a pain. Luckily, I do have a remote way of gaming through the cloud. Shut up! Ah, and see he has fun. Okay, let me shut. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Let me go. Uh, go, 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 go. Yes, good job. Yay! Yay! That's fun. He's even been kind enough to give me a turn. Let's hope I don't embarrass us. Here we go. Let go. This time, Daddy's going to win. Daddy won. Mm-hmm. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. go. I'm trying to go, I'm trying to go. Uh oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh I fell over. Oh, I fell over. Oh. Almost there. We can make it. We can make it. Okay, make it. Ah. We almost there. I'm almost there. Oh no, I fell down. Oh no, I fell down. Oh, there was a little bit of a, a lag there. Am I going the wrong way? Oh, well, I made everyone sad. I mean, you get the gist. It's remotely, works pretty good. Yeah. Keeps us both entertained for a while. I like it. I like it. You, JJ, yeah. look at the camera. Say, I like it. I like it. Say, it's very okay. good. It's very good. Yeah. <laughs>